Hey, welcome back guys. So today on this video, we are talking about iPhones and more specifically, I'm going to answer a question that I've been getting a lot lately. And that is why are you unable to remove a payment method on your iPhone? Just like this error right here. So let's go ahead and talk about this. First off guys, it's going to be a really quick video. There's actually not a lot of steps involved, but I'll go over some important information that can help you work around this particular error, unable to remove a payment method on your iPhone. So be sure to stick around to the end of the video, but why would you want to remove a payment method on your iPhone? Well, that's pretty easy. Maybe your card has expired or maybe you were using a family member's card and now you want to replace it with your own card. Whatever the case is, if you go to remove a payment method in your iPhone, sometimes you'll get this error called unable to remove. It says there is an active subscription on this account that requires at least one payment on file. So the first way to cure this is going into your subscriptions, but this is going to require you to cancel any kind of subscriptions that you have on your iPhone, including your iCloud or any kind of monthly services or apps that you pay for. And a quick rundown on how you get there. First, it's going to be in the settings tab. Let me switch over to there now. Okay, guys, here we are on the settings app for my iPhone. If you want to remove a payment method, you do need to cancel all subscriptions on your iPhone first. This is only the first workaround. I have a couple more ahead, so be sure to stick around. So I'm gonna open up my settings now. Okay, I went ahead and opened up my settings tab. Next, you wanna click on your name here at the top. Okay, I went ahead and clicked there. Next, you wanna go ahead and go here to subscriptions here on this line. I'm gonna click there now. Okay, guys, I went ahead and clicked there. Here on this screen, you're going to see any kind of active subscriptions that you have attached to your Apple ID. As you can see, I have one right here. So in order to remove a payment method on your iPhone, you need to delete all the subscriptions or cancel all subscriptions that are associated with your iPhone before you can delete all payment methods. If you have any active subscriptions like what I have right here, then you need to have at least one payment method in your iPhone. And that's why you're getting that unable to delete payment method error. So you have two options. You can go ahead and delete the subscriptions and then you can go over to your iCloud storage if you have that and delete that also. Once those are all deleted, then you will be able to remove your payment method on your iPhone. So let me show you where the iCloud is. I'm gonna click back on Apple ID. Okay, here we are back on the Apple ID settings. So we already went into subscriptions and canceled all subscriptions. Next, you wanna go into iCloud right here. Let me click on there now. All right, once you're in here, then you wanna click on manage storage. I'm gonna click there now. Okay, once you're in here, then you're gonna look for this line right here, change storage plan. I'm gonna click there now. Okay, once you're in here, you're gonna get this screen. As you can see, I have the free plan right here, so I don't need to cancel my iCloud storage. If you are in a paying plan, then what you can do is go ahead and just downgrade to the free option. Keep in mind that you'll want to back up your phone if you're going to be downgrading your iCloud if you're in a paying position. Once you've done that, then you should be able to remove the payment method from your iPhone. However, if you do not want to cancel your subscriptions but still want to remove your payment method, you can do that. Let me go ahead and switch over to my settings app now. Okay, guys, here I am back on the settings app. I'm going to go ahead and open it now. Okay, once you open up the settings app, you want to click on your name at the top once again. I'm going to click there now. Okay, once you click there, then you're going to go back in here to the payment and shipping. I'm going to click here on payment now. Okay, guys, I went ahead and clicked there. Here is where the error generally happens. As you can see, I only have one payment method. So another way to work around this, if you want to keep your subscriptions and also keep your iCloud storage, you have two options. The first option is you can go ahead and add a different credit card or a different payment method. Once you've added an alternate credit card and you have two payment methods there at the top, then you can go ahead and delete the other one because you need to have at least one payment method if you are going to keep your subscriptions in iCloud. Now, what if you don't have another credit card or what if you don't have another debit card? Another workaround to that is you can actually go and buy one of these iTunes gift cards and replace it as long as you have a balance on your iTunes gift card, then you can delete your payment method. So that's another option for you. If you need help redeeming an iTunes gift card, be sure to go back and watch my other video that describes that in detail. Or if you prefer, you can get a Visa debit gift card and replace this payment method with one of those. But again, that does cost money. A lot of times you do need to spend at least $25 to buy one of those. If you need help redeeming one of those, go back and watch my other video that describes that in detail. Now, another point I want to make is that if you have family sharing on your iPhone, meaning that one family member has set up family sharing for multiple phones, 
It's possible that they may have set up a payment method for all family members on that account. If that's the case, then you cannot change the payment method. You need to have the organizer who set up the family sharing delete that payment method. Now, if you are the family organizer and you want to remove a payment method for another family member, what you want to do is go to your settings app once again. So let me go ahead and start back over there. Okay, guys, here I am here on the iPhone settings app. I'm going to click on settings now. All right, I went ahead and clicked there. Once again, if you are the family organizer and you want to turn off purchase sharing, you want to click on your name here at the top. I'm going to click there now. All right, once you click there, you're going to get the Apple ID settings. And what you want to do if you want to turn off purchase sharing is look down here on this line here called family sharing. I'm going to click there now. Okay, I went ahead and clicked there. And then as you can see, I do not have family sharing. However, if you are going to cancel a payment method on your iPhone for your purchase sharing, what you want to do next is click on purchase sharing, purchase sharing. And then next to what you want to do is go ahead and type on a button called share my purchases. Once you do that, it will turn off purchase sharing and it allows you to remove a payment method from a different family member. So there you have it, guys. That is the easiest way I know how to solve the error, unable to remove payment method on your iPhone. If you found a different way, be sure to leave a comment below. Let the rest of us know how you did it. But hopefully you found that video useful. If so, click thumbs up or maybe consider subscribing to my channel. And I hope to see you on the next video. Thanks again for watching.